I decided to produce this video as an opportunity for uh, people to better understand the evolution of a Chicano photographer and uh, my roots, my uh, current process, and what brought me to this point. In San Jose, California, I was very privileged to uh, go to San Jose High School, a school that had two instructors who taught photography. We actually had a dark room, and both photographers at the school, Ron Root and Prospero Anaya, took me under their wing and uh, offered me an opportunity, gave me an opportunity to uh, take pictures, and quite a few pictures at that. So I took thousands upon thousands of photographs for the yearbook, for the newspaper, and uh, for myself and uh, for some of the students. And uh, that gave me a lot of experience before I went to college. When I entered college, I uh, found myself in a new environment just a few blocks from my parents' house. High school was one mile away. My college was one mile away. When I went to San Jose State University and entered the fall of uh, 1970, I pretty much uh, assumed the position of the school photographer again. I took pictures of what was going on on campus and uh, participated in the various political activities of that time. For example, uh, when the United Farm Workers, President Cesar Chavez would give a speech, I would photograph his speech. When uh, Corky Gonzalez would come to El Centro Cultural de la Gente and uh, hang out with the people down there and discuss the politics of the day, I would take a series of photographs of Corky Gonzalez. So I was in the mix, as they say. I was, I had the opportunity, I had the experience beforehand of photographing individuals and taking action photographs. So my documentary photography experience in high school helped me when I was at the university from 1970 to 1978, eight years at the university. I had a one year hiatus at the uh, San Francisco Water Institute where I went for scho on scholarship. But, uh, I quickly came back to San Jose State because that's my home, uh, 45 miles south of San Francisco, San Jose, California. At San Jose State University, I had the opportunity to really grow as a photographer. So um, I took landscapes, I learned about Ansel Adams and uh, Avedon and uh, other photographers of the period. I also worked in radio. I worked in television, so I got a broad understanding of the uh, impact of media on our society. I currently take photographs of landscapes, uh, communities, like for example, Wichita Falls, Texas. I take quite a few photographs of that community, or Oaxaca, Mexico. So I would go down there and uh, experience the culture, experience the people for weeks and sometimes years and uh, capture what I felt was, uh, from my impression, uh, of what that community was like. Because uh, documentary photography is your impression, not, uh, it's not the truth, uh, it's not the uh, hard facts, it's what you uncover, what you feel is important. So as a Chicano, I covered a lot of Chicano events. A lot of other photographers would cover other things, ignoring Chicanos, ignoring Latinos, ignoring Chicano theater, ignoring Cesar Chavez, etc., etc. But I didn't because I felt that community. I was a part of that community and uh, I photographed that community. Thanks for checking out. A Chicano Photographer's Journey. This is Jesus Manuel Managarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please check out my Patreon page. Muchas gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.